church alive that's worth the drive. A church alive that's worth the walk. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Because we're preaching the word. Amen. Amen. And we need the word now in these days. Amen. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenido a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Amen. So, NBC family, we want to welcome all of you, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. And listen, we got fellowship after this. Yeah. And there's, I can smell there's great foods here, but you know what? We got to have some spiritual food before we have the physical food. Yes. But I got to prepare myself. Amen. So prepare yourselves. You know, say, well, you know, so and so should have been here because they need this word. You know, receive it for yourself because you got to do something with it. Amen. I told you, I think last week, it says, man, your biggest problem stands right in front of the mirror. You got to deal with that problem right there. And you got to fix that. Amen. It's nothing yeah. wrong with, with the Lord. And there's no problems with Him. We got the problem. And we got to connect with him amen we got to make it right so praise god god wants to bless you amen he wants to yeah. encourage you he wants to change you and he wants to correct us amen sometimes we get a little out of hand and we're going to be talking about this get closer and we talk this is the first month of the new year so get closer to him this new year amen yes. get closer yeah he says draw close to him but we want to get closer to Him this new year. Not only this new year, but each and every day. We want to draw close to Him. The praise team just sang a beautiful song. And, uh, well, before I get too carried away, let's uh, let's make this declaration together. Amen. Grab your sword, told your God. And let's say it like you mean it. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can get it today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. The battlefield is the mind. And we got to keep it renewed. If we don't keep it renewed, we can fall easy. Amen. So listen, <laughs> I told the church earlier, the enemy's got the word. He wants the body of Christ. Amen. He, he, he went and attacked Jesus and wanted Jesus to bow down to him. And Jesus says, it is written. Amen. So guess what? We're, we're talking about it is written and we're talking about the word. So we're going to get the word, the truth to set us free from all these mindsets. Amen. The enemy's busy, but we're going to, he met his men. As a matter of fact, he's a defeated foe. Amen. So we're going to put him on the run. We're going to the word. Amen. Get your mind renewed because the enemy is busy. So praise God. No pretending. I got a nugget for you. I'm going to read it to you. Got a couple of nuggets for you. And I'm going to read it to you before we get started here. Woo! Listen. This is new for you guys too. The church family here. It says you go nowhere by accident. You know a lot of times we say that. I don't know how I ended up here. This is by accident. <laughs> we call something told me. We call the Holy Spirit something told me. You're a child of God. You're born again. And you say something is telling me. Well, hopefully it's the Holy Spirit is telling you. But you go nowhere by accident. Wherever you go, God is sending you. Right. <laughs> Amen. Lord, I'm available. Send me. And then he sends me and says, I don't know how I ended up here. <laughs> Wherever you are, God has put you there. He has a purpose for you being there. Amen. When you're in tune with him, <laughs> ain't no accidents. Amen. Amen. Ain't no surprises. I know why I'm here. Amen. You're his shining light. Amen. And he wants you there. Man, praise God. Thank you, Lord. It says, Christ who dwells in you has something he wants you to do. Through you, wherever you are. He wants to do something through you, wherever you happen to be. Wherever you find yourself. Yeah. Amen. And he can translate you somewhere wherever he needs to go. Wherever you need to be. <laughs> so don't be surprised. He, he did it in the Bible and he'll do it now. But he'll put you where needed. Because yeah. you say, Lord, I'm available. Okay, great. So he's going to use you. Lord, I'm available. Use me. He wants to use you. Woo! Praise God. Amen. Believe this. Believe this and go in his grace. Go in his love and go in his power. Amen. You can do all these things. So listen to this. You can write this down. It says, what you are is God's gift, gift to us. Amen. What you are is God's gift to us. Amen. What you become is our gift 
to God. Yes. Amen. Give yourself, dedicate yourself, commit yourself, submit yourself to Him, surrender yourself and say, Lord, I'll give myself back to you. Amen. Amen. What we become is our gift to Him. Amen. Give yourself back to Him. As a matter of fact, He bought us. Amen. He went to the cross and He yes. bought, He paid for a price. He didn't know that we owe a price we cannot pay. <laughs> Amen. So we belong to Him. We just got to give ourselves back to Him and start serving the world and start pleasing people and start pleasing Him. Amen. Amen. Woo, we haven't even started our lesson yet. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We haven't even started the Word yet. And we're going to be talking about words here. You guys read it, but I'm going to read it to those that are watching, those of you that are listening here. It says, Be words. Be watchful and guard the words you allow in your life. You hear these things. Anywhere you go, you see and you hear these things. Amen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The words you speak. Amen. Remove death words and take every thought captive that the enemy tries to overwhelm you with. It can, he wants to take you captive. Don't let him. Amen. For those thoughts will affect your emotions, your words, and your actions. Only believe his words and receive his word into your heart, and they are river, a river of life. Amen. Let his word be a river of life to you. Amen. Praise God. They will keep you in his peace. They will keep you in, in his protection and, and his provision. Man, you got the word, man. Confess yeah, yeah. the word. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Any other stuff? Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. So be careful. I choose not to say that. Amen. And uh, Proverbs 8.21 in New King James says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Listen to what the message, message translation says this. Straight. It says, words kill, words give life. Yes. They either poison or fruit. Mm -hmm. You choose. Man, that's right to the point. They kill. It says words kill, words uh, give life. They either poison or fruit. But you choose it. So, you know, let's choose the right things. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. If, if you slam your finger on the door or with a hammer, you're going to choose not to do that again. <laughs> I learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that again. Amen. So, we keep repeating the same things and saying the same things over and over and over. So let's not say those negative things anymore. Let's confess what the Word of God says. We can train ourselves, amen? Train ourselves and do and confess His Word, amen? Whew, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So draw closer to Him. Draw closer to Him this new year, amen? You know, we're always drawing closer to the world. And so many other things. Man, I'm growing closer to that TV because the playoff, football playoffs is going on right now, you know? Or, 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 or we're drawing closer to whatever, you know, your spouse. That's good. But we're drawing closer to something. Let's draw closer to Him. Amen? Let's draw closer to Him this new year. When things are good, amen, when things are not so good, a place to turn for guidance, a place to turn for help, a place to turn where you can cast all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your problems to. A place, that place is the Lord. Amen. Our loving Savior. He's there for us all the time. As a matter of fact, the Bible says Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Amen. Interceding for us. And we can go to Him anytime. And we have the right to go. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. This is the place where uh, hurting, if you're hurting, you can go. If you're seeking Him, you can go. Yeah. Need guidance, and we need to draw closer to Him. Amen. So, see, we need to step out in faith each and every day. Yes. Amen. Step out in faith, not in fear. If you're not in Him, you're in the world. <laughs> and if you're in the world, you're in fear. But we need to be in Him and be in faith and walk yeah. in faith. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I've got a couple of scriptures for you. James uh, 4 and 8 says what? Draw nigh to God. This King James says draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. It says cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Yes. Let me see what the New Living Translation says. Keep going. Well, okay, this is another translation. King James says draw nigh to him 
this translation says draw close to God and he will draw close to you mm -hmm. and that's what we're talking about drawing closer to him each and every day amen yeah, yeah. next one there we go it says draw close to God and God will come close to you wash your hands you sinner purify your hearts for your loyalty is divided between God and the world oh boy amen we can't do that in, in, in revelations he says you can be hot or cold but not lukewarm, not lukewarm. that's what he's doing here mm -hmm. we're splitting our times between the world and god mm -hmm. and he says i will not take lukewarm he said matter of fact he says i'll spit you i'll vomit you amen yes. and uh that's not a good thing so no. <laughs> man that's good your loyalty is divided between god and the world are you going to be a God pleaser or a people pleaser or a world pleaser? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a God pleaser, amen? Mm -hmm. amen. But we got to get our priorities right. We yeah. got to get Him first in our lives. Last week we talked about dethrone yourself and oh. put Him back on the throne. Mm -hmm. Amen? Keep going. Hallelujah. James 4, 7 and 8 says, well, this includes 7. But it says, humble yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. Yes. And and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinner. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Mm -hmm. yes. But verse uh, verse seven talks about humble yourself. It says resist the devil. Mm -hmm. That means you have authority. Why are you letting? Why are you letting him rule you? Why are you letting him run over you? Yes, yes. Amen. You know, we open the doors. He seeking who he may devour mm. how does he how do we know the words you were speaking yes. again as we go back to word you open the door and guess what you gave him a ride and yeah. he came in now he wants to drive ah. <laughs> he wants to drive you yeah. amen yeah. and we let him say oh go ahead you know <laughs> no it's time to say wait a minute i made a mistake mm -hmm. confess repent and press on yes. and kick him out yeah. <laughs> it says uh, uh resist him take authority and he will flee. You got yes. to go. Hey, let him walk. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, a New Living Translation says, your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Mm -hmm. And we need to get this right. We, can't do, we, we cannot do this. Amen. Yes, yes. And the next one. Oh, I, I threw this in. This is a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> it says, if God sees far away, guess who moved? Uh, it's a guessing game. <laughs> Guess who moved? He didn't move. The problem's not with him. The problem is here. We moved and yes. we didn't renew our minds, so now we walked away. Yes. Amen. And we're gone. The prodigal son, man, we're gone, man. We're in the world and we're in a in a in a, in a mud puddle, you know. <laughs> and we over there just I say, wait a minute. It's time to wake up. It's time to get back get right with god amen some of you watching some of you listen you know what i'm talking about you need to get back with god amen it's time you've been gone too long probably even the prodigal son says i need to get back to father's house i need to get back to father he's got a mission for you nobody can fulfill this mission but you he's gifted to you and one day you're gonna have to stand before him and explain to him why you never use the gifts he gave you why? You know, nobody's going to be around. All them buddies, you know, ain't going to be around. Nobody's going to be around except you. And you're going to have to answer. Those gifts he gave you, guess what? He don't take them back. That's it. They're just not going to be used. And you're not using them. And he's going to ask you why you never used what he gave you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're going to say, uh, and you're going to look around. Ain't nobody around you except you. So let's let's get busy for him. Let's stay busy for him. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Keep going. That was not the one. It says every day he do something that will draw you closer to him. James four, uh, James four and eight. Everything it says every day do something that will draw closer closer to him. Amen. Every day, if we're not for God, every day we're doing something to draw closer to the world. Amen. If you're doing doing if you're not doing it for him, you're doing it for the world. And guess what? It's drawing closer to, to, to the world. And we're acting like the world. And your words, your actions, and all these things show that. Amen. I thought you was a child of God. <clears throat> Amen. Woo, let's come on. Let's let's
Let's do what we need to do to get draw closer to Him. Amen. Yes, Each amen. and every day, not just once in a while, not just well, yeah, every every first of the year, you know, my new year is resolution. Man. Draw closer to God, <laughs> and then we forget about it. Keep going. There we go. It says Saint Corinthians five seven, five seven. King James says, "For we walk by faith and not by sight." For we, you can scratch that we and put your name there. Yes, Amen. Or say, I walk by faith. Jose walks by faith and not by sight. Amen. When we're in the Word and we're, the Word is in us, we're going to walk by faith. Those fears have to go. Submit yourself to God. Resist Him. He's got to go. He's got to flee. Amen. He's not giving us that fear. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. So, if we're going to walk in, in faith, guess what? We, we, we got to get closer to Him. And we got to get closer to Him. How do we do that? Get in the Word. <laughs> Study. Amen. Meditate the Word. And start doing the things He tells us to do. Do whatever it takes to draw closer to Him each and every day. Next one. There you go. <clears throat> New King James says, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I only want to give him half. <laughs> Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. If you're not in the Word and if you're not in the Lord, you're going to be in not in your own understanding because you're going to be full of the world and you're going to be doing worldly things. <gasps> lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He's going to direct your yes. path. Yes, Amen. Will. He's going to direct your path. Thank you, Lord. He knows what's best for you. So guess what? You go to the source. <laughs> Stay connected to the source. Stay connected to the vine. Stay connected to, to Him. Amen? Mm -hmm. So you can know which way to go. You can know what to do and not be surprised and not be uh, overwhelmed. Amen? Keep going. Hallelujah. You leave right there, 2 Timothy 1 7. I just quoted that. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Fear is a spirit. So, you have, what do you do? How do you get rid of it? You got to speak to it and take authority. Spirit of fear, I rebuke you. I command you to leave. I, I don't need you. I don't want you in my life. Amen. But I want faith. How do I get faith and how do I increase my faith? Getting me the word, reading the word, spending time with Him, having a relationship with Him. And meditating on His Word. Amen. That's the only way you're going to do it. Okay? There ain't no other way. <laughs> he says, I'm the only way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. So, we got to keep Jesus in our lives. Amen. We got to put Him first in our lives and serve Him only. Amen. It says, for God not giving you a spirit of fear, big words, but a power of love and have a sound mind. And I can do these things. I can do these things. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Yeah, but you don't know me. I, 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 I'm slow. But you don't know me. I can't learn scriptures. I know. I used to say all those things. But I don't say them anymore. <laughs> Amen. We're always trying to exclude ourselves. You know, Moses, Noah, all these Bible heroes that we read about, they weren't perfect. They first, they went to God and said, I never built an ark before. Well, I want you to be a leader and lead my people. And say, I've never been a leader. I don't know what to do. You know? We submit ourselves to Him. He's going to use you and give you. He's given you. He's called. First of all, He's got a call on you. Nobody ever told you that. You, you have a call. <laughs> you have a mission. Amen. And He's equipped you. And you got everything it takes to be a winner and fulfill what Amen. He's called you to do. Amen. So, <laughs> you got nothing to do with the world. Just press on with the things of God. Amen. Woo. Keep going. All right, leave it right there. So Matthew eleven twenty eight and 30. New King James says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. All you. That's you. Put your name there. Say, Lord, I'm going to come to you. I'm going to give you all this stuff. I don't, yeah. need, I don't need this other stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm walking around with all this extra weight, all these extra cares, all these extra things. And I will give you rest. You need rest, man. I can't sleep. I can't do this. I'm, I'm stressed out. <clears throat> You're a child of God. You shouldn't be. We're so blessed, but we shouldn't be stressed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So praise God. Says 29 says, Take my yoke upon you and learn 
from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And verse 30 says, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes. Amen. So let's remember these things. I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version, my favorite. <laughs> Just come to me, all you who are tired from the heavy burdens you have been forced to carry. <laughs> I will give you rest. Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will be able to get some rest. Amen. When you have him, you have rest. So have rest. Yes, the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey. Just empty yourself every time you can. Says you, you see all the, you feel all these things coming on you. Mm -hmm. hey, when you're in the world, all these things are going to attach to you. It's just like you're a magnet, and these things are just going to hook on you. They're going to just attach themselves to you. But you got to give yourself a spiritual bath with the Word of God. Say, yeah. hey, I release all these things, Lord. I cast all these things on you. I don't need them. I need to fulfill what you want me to do. And these things I don't need. So you give them to them and leave them there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't take them back. Not half, not just a few, but everything. It says cast all mm -hmm. these things on me because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he wants you to fulfill. He wants you to be a winner and not a loser. Amen. Yeah. If you see yourself there, the world and your buddies and everybody else is going to call you a loser, mm -hmm. a nobody. Mm -hmm. Amen. But not 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 the Lord. Okay. Amen. He made you to win. He made you a winner. He made you a champion. He made you an overcomer. He says you can do these things because I did them, and I know you can do yes. it because mm -hmm. I've equipped you to be a winner, not a loser. Okay. Woo, man. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> it says, "Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will be able to get some rest." Yes, the teachings. That I ask you to accept is easy. It says the load I give you to carry is light. Yes. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise okay. God. Amen. Amen. There you go. Keep going. Okay. First Peter 5, 6 and 8. New King James. I'm not sure what translation that is, but it says that. King, New King James says, well, let's read it from here. So humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, yes. that he may lift you up in due time. Cast some, no. oh. mm -hmm. cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. That's it. But go, no, I'm not going there. <laughs> Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, it tells you who your enemy is. Yes. Okay. It's not people. Yes. It's not things. It says, your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. First Peter 5, 6 to 8. Let me read it to you from the New King James. It says, therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that you may exalt, that he may exalt you in due time. That's it. Amen. We're growing. He's going to promote you. Amen. And we got to show ourselves uh, faithful. Yes. We gotta show ourselves faithful in doing his thing, in his work. Amen. Amen. It says casting all cares upon him, for he careth for you. It says be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. This is all the time, and like I said, I told you earlier, <laughs> he's already got the world. He's not concerned about the world. He wants to take down all us believers yes. mm -hmm. amen he said man you know i can give you all these distractions i can give you all the things of the world you know that's what he told jesus he mm -hmm. tried to have jesus bow to him you know i can give you all the riches of the world you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he tried to do the same thing with us yeah but jesus says it is written mm -hmm. amen and we need to do the same thing it is written satan get behind me <laughs> Amen. Get under my feet. That's Amen. where you belong. Let me remind you that you are defeated foe. Defeated foe. Amen. You have no power over me. I take authority. I submit myself to God. I resist you. I take authority over you and I command you to go in Jesus' name. That's what we got to do. Amen. If it ain't leading you to Christ, it's leading you away from Christ. So yeah. you know which is right and which is wrong. That's it. That's it. <laughs> 
And how does he know who to devour? Again, you're saying the wrong things. And we got to be careful not to say the wrong things. Words are powerful. Words are seeds. And they have death and life to them. And who sows them? We do. We speak them. We sow them. And when you sow something, when you plant something, it's going to grow. But it's going to grow in your life because you spoke it. So you got to be selective and guard the words you speak. Amen. <laughs> so church, we must remember to call on the name of Jesus. He's only one prayer away. I've, I've said this many times, but I'll say it again. Jesus came as a human. <laughs> and he served. And he lived. And guess what? He had some hard times. It was not easy. Nobody really liked him. He had hard times. And guess what? He said he called to the Father and he prayed to the Father. You know what he needed? He needed strength. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> he never did anything wrong. People still hated him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Lord, I need you. Uh, Father, he says, Father, I need you. I need your help. I need your prayers. I need, I need your strength. Yes, amen. What about us? We can do the same thing. Lord, I need your strength. You know, you know what you're going through, but you cast it on him. And it says, Lord, I can do all things through you, Lord. I need you. I need your strength. Amen. The prodigal son, he made a call. And he says, you know, when he found himself down and out, a lot of us, we find ourselves that way. Some of you watching, some of you listening, you know you're down and out. And how long are you going to stay that way? As long as you want to. But you don't have to. All you have to do is call on him. The prodigal son saw himself down and out. <laughs> in, a, in a mud puddle with pigs eating pig food. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go through that. He said, man, I can go back to Father's house and you can do better because he called you to be a winner, a champion. Yeah, same, yeah. And you're not living up to that. Not because his fault, it's our fault. We need to line up with his word. Amen. And come back to Father's house. He says, I can go back to Father's house and have better than this. He says, slaves live better than this. Come on. Right. Woo. Moses found himself <laughs> between the Red Sea and the, and the Egyptian army. <laughs> yeah. He says, Lord, <laughs> I need your help now. <laughs> we can do the same thing. We find ourselves between these things. Yes. I say, man, we, I don't see no way out. Uh, but God, uh -huh. he'll find a way for you. Amen. Yeah. He's brought us through so many things. <laughs> Amen. All of us, you know what? All of us have an awesome testimony what God has brought us through. And he wants you to use it. Set somebody free. He says, you know what? I know what you're going through. I've been through that. Yep. And this is how God got me over this. And God can take you out of this. Amen. And share with them. Mm -hmm. So Moses said, Lord, I need your help. The lady with the issue of blood, he said, what did she say? She says, if I could just get closer to him. Mm -hmm. If I could just touch a hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She did. And guess what? She was healed. Amen. I mean, for what, 30 plus years? Long time. Long time. She suffered all this. And nobody, and no doctors can, can find 12, anything. 12 and years. 12 years. But yes. you know what? God, he, she says, if I could just get closer to him. Uh -huh. And she did. She got real close. Yes. And Jesus says, she's walking in the crowd. And, and he says, somebody touched me. Uh -huh. The disciples say, what are you talking about? Everybody's bumping into you. Mm -hmm. But she made a call for the healing. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you make a call and you call on him. Whatever that need is, yes. he says he'll supply all your needs. Amen. All your needs. Hallelujah. What about David? <laughs> I mean, Daniel. <laughs> he saw himself in the lion's den. His friend, the king, <laughs> said, hey, this is not happening. This is what. Daniel's doing, and that's not going against what you said. Yeah. So he's got to go in the lion's den. They wanted him devoured. They yeah. wanted him gone. But guess what? He called on God. Yes, he did. And God saw him through that. I mean, whichever way he did it, man. But he either filled their bellies or he shut their mouth. Shut their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he survived. You know, yes, guess did. what? You find him in there praying more. Amen. Prayer works if you pray. <laughs> David facing Goliath. What giants are you facing? Mm -hmm. What problems are you facing? Mm -hmm. 
Amen. He called on God, and guess what? God saw him through it. So whatever giants, whatever problems you're facing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God will see you through those yes, things. Amen. Yeah. All we need to do is draw close to Him. That's what we're talking about. Draw closer to God this new year. Yes. Draw closer to God each and every day. Yes, yes. Don't pull away. Say, <laughs> if He seems far away, it's because we walked away. Oh yeah, right. Don't that walk is. away from Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Joshua at the Jericho walls he said it's impossible for these walls ain't coming down he called on God God gave him a plan what yes, to do yes he did <laughs> amen <laughs> he said well that's not what they told me at war school <laughs> he's a great general you know he said that's not the way they told me how to fight in war school you know that's it <laughs> he said you put the praises up front and do this and oh march around and don't say nothing till the last time you know mm -hmm. i say oh my god mm -hmm. but you know what he was obedient that's the main thing yeah. he obeyed what he was told and when they shouted out man them walls mm -hmm. that were not supposed to come down came down yes. it was yes. so flat it was gone man they yes. walked in yes. and you have to jump on anything they just walked in yeah. and then they marched in. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So praise yeah. God. I'll give you one more and that's Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> God says, go to Nineveh. I wanted them to go preach the word. Yeah. And he says, no, I'm not going. No. And he went oh, the other God. way. <laughs> and he got in the ship. And he had having problems. Uh -huh. So he finally went to the captain and said, I know why you're having problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said, that's because oh. I'm running from God. Mm -hmm. He said, throw me overboard and uh, your problems are over. Uh -huh. So guess what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easily, they threw him overboard. Yes. Look at God had a, a plan. Yes, he did. He already had a fish ready mm -hmm. to save him. Amen. So he spent three days or three three days in, 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 in the belly of a fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just him and God. Are you here? <laughs> I'm here. Wherever you go. That's it. You the the, the three Hebrew children. He found him. They found him. They saw they saw him in the fire. But they threw three in and they saw four. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So wherever you happen to be, he's with you. He says, I never leave you nor forsake you. That's it. Wherever you are, I am. Remember, your your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So where you go, I go. Yes. Amen. Amen. And He never leaves you. He's always with you. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Good things happen when we draw close to God. <coughs> Amen. Again, James 4, 7 and 8 says, Submit yourself to God. Yes. Surrender yourself to Him. Uh-huh. And place yourself totally in His hands. Yes. Draw close to God. And he will draw close to you. Close to you. Let your heart's desire repeat the, uh, the the song. You know, draw close to God. And I had it up here a few minutes ago, and I was going to read it to you, mm. and uh, I let it go. Uh -oh. I don't know what I did with it. Uh. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we sang this song a few minutes ago. The praise team, uh, and they, they did great. It says, "Draw me close to you." Never let me go. I lay it all down again. It says, to hear you say it, I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. it says, you are my desires. No one else will do it. No one. Because nothing else can take your place. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We got to let him know. No, no one can take your place. Mm -hmm. To feel the warmth of your embrace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Beautiful song. Mm -hmm. it says, help me find a way. Bring me back to you. Yeah. You that are running. Yeah. <laughs> you that are down and out. Says, help me find a way back to you. All you yes, need to do Lord. is say, Lord, I need you. You know, all you need to do is do an about face. Yes. Turn around. When you yeah. call on him, man, he's ready to forgive and forget. Amen. And you need to do the same thing. We just starting out a year, man. You can start a fresh year, mm. new year with him, yes. serving him. And man, he's not you, put you on the wayside. He 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 wants you to be involved. Yes. He wants yes. to use you. Amen. 
says, you're all I want. You're all, you're all I ever needed. Mm -hmm. You're all I want. says, help me. Help me know that you are near. Yes. You know how we know he's, he's, he's near is because his word says that he never leaves us nor forsakes us. And he's always there with us. Amen. So help me know you are here. Amen. Amen. He's always with you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So let's remember this as we close. That we... We, we we need to get closer to him yes, each, yes. each and every day. The many Christians that say they love God, they want to get close to God, and they want to come to church, mm. and they want to change. Mm. But they they speak words, but there's no actions. Mm -hmm. They need they need to step out in faith and draw close to Him, yeah. draw closer to Him this new year. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Draw close to Him in your prayers, in your times of uh, praise and worship, in your times of reading and meditating on the Word of God. Yes. Be encouraged. Imitate Him. He's the greatest example. He's our greatest yes. le leader, yes. our role model that we can have. Amen. And we are to imitate Him. That's what Ephesians uh, uh, 5, 1 and 2 in the Amplified says, to be imitators of Him. Yes. Amen. We try to copy all worldly heroes, you know. The Bible tells us, amen, we got to imitate our Heavenly Father, amen, yes. be like Him, amen. and do what He says to do, amen, amen. And, and we can do all things to Christ. So, Heavenly Father, we just thank You for this day, thank You for Your Word, Father, I pray that we get it, and uh, learn it, and go with it, Father God. Yes. Some of you are watching, some of you are, are uh, uh, watching and, and uh, listening, if you... Uh, walked away from God or if you need to come back to God you know I mean uh, accept him now is the time amen all you need yes. to do is say Lord I've sinned against you I repent amen. come into my life mm -hmm. be my Lord and Savior yes. and he's not going to turn you down I don't care what the world says I don't care who said what mm -hmm. he wants you and he called you and he placed you here to win and not to lose mm -hmm. so line up with the word receive him as your Lord and Savior amen, amen. and get in a Bible based church where then you can start learning the word and start doing things for him amen so praise god if you have sickness in your body <laughs> i speak to my body all the time you can speak to your body what do i speak to my body i speak the word of god say by jesus christ you're healed i've got aches i got malfunctions but i say no i don't receive those because i want every malfunction to go because i want my body and everything every muscle every tissue every organ in my body mm -hmm. every joint every my vision my yeah. hearing to function just the way God created it to function. Amen. So malfunctions go in Jesus' name. Sickness go in Jesus' name. I don't receive it. I just receive healing in my body because the Bible tells me that by Jesus Christ I'm healed. So receive your healing. Amen. Amen. You gotta receive it. It's a gift. God took the stripes. Jesus took the stripes for us to be healed. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. The time to give. You can go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. Uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, just go to New Begins Church of the Big Bang. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.